Hello everyone and welcome to Double Shot for October 2020. Now, this is usually my favorite month of the year and um, it's always very magical and um, you know obviously witchy month. For those of us who follow the Pagan Wheel of the Year we celebrate so in this month and there's that really beautiful juxtaposition between death and life and rebirth that happens as we move through October and November into December. So uh, it's a really beautiful energy and I always feel very inspired and I end up doing a lot of personal card working in October and this year has proven to be no different and it's also been wonderful to get to spend a lot more time out in the woods and by the sea this month. So um, I feel really, really blessed about that. And the, my choices for this month are actually both new to me. Um, one, um, the album this month is actually new. It was released on the 25th of September, I believe. And uh, it's Deftones Ohm's album. Um, if you are a Deftones fan, there's usually like, a, a, I guess, a few different camps here when it comes to this. Um, some of us really only love the old stuff that they did when they were first starting out. Some of us really, really love the newer work. Uh, I'm kind of in between. I really love the original first albums that the Deftones put out. They're very, very near and dear to my heart. Um, I found the Deftones at a very pivotal time in my life when I was making really big changes as a teenager and the White Pony album is kind of like this album that just, it just signified freedom for me and taking a leap of faith and, and um, it was, it just, it really signifies that time for me, freedom. Um, so it's a very, very special album to me. But there are also newer albums that the Deftones have put out that I really love, like Diamond Eyes, um, and their um, gore is amazing. I really love that album too. And Ohms is is definitely at the top of my Deftones um, favorite albums. I really, 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 really enjoyed this album. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, special edition on vinyl. And I have, because you guys know that I'm like a total vinyl geek, um, I have the really special clear edition. So it, I have to keep it in the sleeve, which is why I had to do that separately for this. But there's an irreverence to this album as well as a romance to this album that just kind of blends perfectly for that feeling of October to me, which is very um, mystical and it's like going within, but you're also exploring as well. So some of my favorite tracks on this album, I'm going to get into the deck in one second, but this album is like really, really special to me. I really love The Spell of Mathematics, This Link is Dead, and Headless. Um, oh, Radiant City grew on me. Like I wasn't sure when I first listened to it. And then after I listened to it a few more times, I was like, oh, holy shit, this, this song is amazing. So, and this is a, actually a really great album to just play all the way through and enjoy from the first track all the way through to the end. So the album this month is Deftones Ohms album. And then the tarot deck is new to me. Um, I posted about this deck last week when I got it and it's the Darkwood Tarot. I am so deeply smitten and in lust with this deck. Like I cannot stop working with it. It's just, it's so um, sexy and witchy and mystical. And so it's perfect for the month of October. So this is my double shot guys. Ohms and the Darkwood Tarot. I'm going to show you a couple of the images from the Darkwood Tarot just while I talk about it really quickly in case you don't have this deck and you're coming to this video to see if you want to purchase it. Um, it literally is you as the witch taking a journey through the forest. And so the story and the cycles with the majors, the minors, and the court cards are all telling that story. It's a deck that's great for shadow work, which is perfect this time of year because on that wheel of the year, we're literally in the shadow aspect of the calendar. So this deck really, really lends itself well to um, to doing that work. Even the guidebook itself, if you're new to tarot, it's going to help you. It's going to give you a jumping off point to doing shadow work and to really stepping into that. And I've certainly been really sinking my teeth into that, not only professionally as I'm teaching and working with others, but also personally for myself. So this deck is, I mean, it just, there was no other option. Uh, it, this is the deck for the month of October. It's just, 
It's such a yummy, yummy deck. And it's so exciting because I haven't felt this way about a new deck that I've purchased like this much in love in a long time. So I'm just really, really, really enjoying it. So there's some of the imagery so you can get a feel for that. And I think working with the two of these together, like just putting, you know, putting your, um, your headphones on and just like journaling, looking at the imagery, doing some card work, like these two together, they just marry very, very well together. So for October 2020, it's the Deftones Owns album, if I can get the ring light out of there, and the Darkwood Tarot. Absolutely in love with both of these. Completely and totally kick-ass. Um, as you guys know, uh, Typo Negative ended up being September's, I believe, or August's. I can't remember. It might have been August's. Um, but that's definitely another go-to for me. But uh, this, this month, this new album just has really stuck with me, and I've been enjoying listening to it a great deal. So that is my double shot for the month of October, guys. Um, I hope you are all doing well and feeling very connected and devoted to your spiritual path. And um, as always, it is wonderful to connect with you. So I'm sending you much love, many blessings. I will see you in the next video.